From bikes straight out of anime to a $3 million price tag, here are some crazy designs you won't believe were actually made into real motorcycles. 10 insane motorcycles you won't believe are real. Number 10, Tomahawk V10 Superbike. Introducing the Tomahawk V10 Superbike by Dodge, just to make some jaws drop right off the bat. Now, plenty of people would argue that this is not really a bike because it has four tires, but it does technically qualify as a motorcycle. Possibly the most stunning thing in this picture is just how massive this vehicle seems, and with its polished armor and blue details, it really seems to have an attitude, doesn't it? But the V10 also has the goods to back it up. If you think you can handle it, it can roar at 500 horsepower and make everyone around you go completely crazy with jealousy. The cherry on top of this delicious mechanical cake is that it does not spend nearly as much gas as you might expect. The body of this motorcycle is made of billet aluminum, so even though it looks massive, it is as light as a feather. However, it is still a concept vehicle, meaning it is still not street legal. We want to take a second to say thank you to our subscribers and those of you who leave comments. Here are a few of our viewers from Most Haunting Images Under the Sea who were creeped out by the deep, dark waters and what they hold. Najma Azi, Kitty Loves Strawberry, and on Most Chilling Things Abandoned Under the Sea left a really lovely comment. Thank you again. Natasha McDaniel Murrell. Number nine, Publis. This kind of looks like someone's great uncle had a late midlife crisis, fetched his old chopper he'd been tinkering with for ages, and gave it a skinny dragon makeover gone wild. But take another look. That back wheel is anything but a piece of ancient tinkering history. That is what is called a hubless wheel or a spokeless wheel. The bike itself is a Harley Davidson, and the hubless wheel that looks like it is just floating back there is actually rapidly becoming the new norm in the motorcycle world. Would you want a massive bike like number 10 or a slender bike like number 9? Let us know your answer in the top right corner poll section. Number 8. BMS This is the BMS by Yamaha, and it is easily the biggest budget wrecker ever. This bike cost a dizzying 3 million bucks. If you can spare that kind of money for a vehicle, you'd better plan for a private track as well. There is a 1700cc V-twin under the hood of this unbelievably pricey toy, and in case you were wondering where in the name of everything reasonable your money would go, the answer is you would be paying for the aesthetics. Believe it or not, every single bit of gold you see on this thing is the real deal, and as if that was not sufficiently royal treatment, the upholstery is genuine velvet. After all, if you are this kind of a millionaire, you would want to be super comfortable on your road trip. Number 7. Confederate Fighter This is the limited edition Confederate Fighter by Neiman Marcus, and it is one of those prized possessions whose value skyrockets over time. Neiman Marcus is pretty notorious to begin with, because they often tend to sell specialty items that are a one-time only sort of thing. 45 of these bikes were ever made, all crafted from titanium, aluminum, and carbon fiber components with a 45-degree air-cooled V-twin, and each was sold for around $100,000. But of course, it didn't end there. The last of them was sold at an auction for a heart-stopping $11 million. 6. B120 Wraith 
This kind of design is a masterful balance on a tightrope stretched between modernist and steampunk, and Confederate calls it functional minimalism. This particular model is the B120, also affectionately known as the Wraith, and it comes with the price tag of a whopping $92,500. That is because every single piece of it is original. The front fork is handmade. The frame is entirely made of carbon fiber. It also feels endlessly weird on the first ride because there is no traditional fuel tank to grab onto with your legs and the incredibly thin seat just reinforces the alien impression that you are riding a massive, extravagantly over-decorated bicycle. However, it is a stable, fast, intuitive vehicle and even though it is not really meant for a racing track, it is sure to turn every single head on the road. 5. Akira This one is something anime fans will love to hate. Shotaro Kaneda's bike from the cyberpunk anime Akira has popped out of the world of Neo Tokyo and right onto the roads in our own real world. It was built from the ground up by a man called Masashi Tashima from Fukuoka in Japan. He thought that he would like to have an Akira motorcycle for himself, so he went ahead and spent 7 years and 10 million yen that's around US $121,000 to make one all of his own. Of course, there are many other bike building projects out there that are based on Akira, but this one was actually officially recognized as a legit replica by the very creator of Akira, Kachuhiro Otomo. Its crafty owner took it for a lengthy ride across the country to raise money for dealing with the problem of children's autism before displaying it in an exhibit in Tokyo to raise money for earthquake victims. Number 4. Concept 6 This handsome motorcycle is BMW's model called Concept 6, and it was first introduced at the EICMA show in Milan. It might not look all that fancy and futuristic at first glance, but if you give it a second look, you will notice that the design incorporates many different aerodynamic elements, so it is a nod to smarter solutions. That also holds true for its engine, which has six cylinders, and this is also where the idea for the motorcycle's name came from. Compared to the four-cylinder engine units, the new six-cylinder model produces horsepower that is in about the same output range but is more economic in regards to fuel consumption because it also includes a fully controlled catalytic converter. That is to say, in the long run, the Concept 6 is more environmentally friendly than its four-cylinder cousins and is likely to save you some money along the way. Number 3. Mission R Mission R by Mission Motors is a road monster with 161 horsepower ready right there on hand. The power source behind that mean number is a 120 kilowatt motor working hand in hand with 12 kilowatt lithium ion batteries, also available as 15 kilowatts or 17 kilowatt variants. What that means in basic English is that you can achieve the speed of 60 miles per hour in a mere three seconds. The maximum speed of this motorcycle is 140 miles per hour. Wow! The whole vehicle weighs around 550 pounds. That's around 250 kilos. Depending on how its rider handles the throttle, Mission R gives the person a range of 80 to 100 miles. The vehicle rider interface is right from the future front, enabled for cellular data and based on a high-resolution touchscreen instrument cluster. The interface is called Mission OS, and it supports both GPS and Bluetooth. Best of all, the bike's batteries can be fully charged in less than two hours. Number 2. Tesseract This is the Tesseract by Yamaha, which was first introduced at the 2007 Tokyo Motor Show. It was designed by Luciano Marabis, whose family founded the Italian company Quadro Technology, which produces similar tilting vehicles. Yamaha calls the Tesseract model a four-wheeled motorcycle because it can bank like a regular motorcycle thanks to its tilting wheel suspension, which Yamaha refers to as a dual Skype suspension system, and because its frontal profile is about as narrow as any other regular motorcycle. It still has four wheels, though, so it is technically a quadricycle. Whatever you call it, it is an impressive hybrid vehicle with an ecological motor solution. 
It is powered by a combination of a liquid-cooled V-twin two-cylinder gasoline engine and an electric engine, which significantly reduces the harmful emissions. It can stand upright without a kickstand thanks to a dual-arm lock system built into its upper arms, and the Mantis-like design just adds to the appeal. Number 1. Kawasaki J Three-Wheeler EV This is the Kawasaki J Three-Wheeler EV, which was revealed to the public back in 2013 at the Tokyo Motor Show. If you think it looks incredibly similar to the Tron light cycle, that is because it was inspired by it, except that the J glows bright green. You can ride it in two different modes, the sport mode and the comfort mode, and it actually changes its form to fit each one, so you are basically looking at a Transformers bike here. The sport mode puts you in a low riding position to increase the overall speed, whereas the comfort mode is set up for a higher stance with the front wheels more widely apart for a more relaxed experience. As far as steering goes, Forget all about the typical wheels and handlebars. The J relies on a pair of levers, which are actually pretty similar to those you would find on a zero-turn ride-on lawnmower. Gottlieb Daimler and his partner Wilhelm Maybach are credited with inventing the first motorcycle because they created the first gas engine one. There were man self-propelled bicycles created, but theirs was the official motorcycle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Coming up next, 10 amazing tiny homes you'll want to live in. It might look like something off of a sci-fi movie set, but it is an actual house. Meet the Eco Capsule, a futuristic home solution located in Bratislava, Slovakia. It was a collaboration project between the architects Thomas Zasek and Sona Paholova, who built it on 120 square feet total. Sadly, there is no online.